Hello, welcome to a special Cracking the Cryptic where I'm going to be taking on a crossword, not a cryptic this time, but um, one of the most significant puzzles of the year. This is going to be the puzzle from the American Crossword Puzzle Tournament final. So this tournament happens every year. Um, I think it's in Stamford, Connecticut again now and has been for a few years as it was for many years in the past. It's run by Will Shorts for the New York Times and it features um, two days of puzzle solving culminating in, in a final for some people. Now, I, understand, I think, well, I've been a couple of times. The way that it works is everybody in the field sits in a huge room seven times and solves seven crosswords. Um, and hands them in when they're finished and so on. And then the competitors get ranked. You lose a certain number of points if you get a letter wrong in a puzzle, which will normally condemn you to not reaching any finals. Um, and then there are different finals for uh, different categories of solver. There are categories C, B and A. A includes everybody in the field. And therefore the, the last A final is the all the grand final as it were. I think, I can't even remember what B and C are, but they're based on number of times you've been to a crossword puzzle tournament before and where you've finished and stuff, I think. And I, I can't really remember to be honest, but um, for the final puzzle, there are three sets of clues. Um, a set of C clues, which are a bit easier so that the C contestants can hope to finish the puzzle. A set of B clues, which are harder than the C clues. Um, and again, the B finalists will then go on stage as the C finalists will. And does this happen? I think. Yeah, I honestly can't remember if all the finalists appear on stage. But the culmination is the A final, where the three finalists do appear on stage and wearing white noise headphones so they can't hear the audio, the hall. They solve puzzles on large easels and this puzzle gets revealed and they have up to 15, I think, rather than 20 minutes to solve it um, using obviously the A clues, the hardest set of clues. Um, and then the winner, there, there are slight handicaps brought forward from the solving in the main event, the first seven puzzles. Um, they are gauged on sort of minutes taken in whole numbers. So you have to be pretty good to get any, any few seconds of a, of a handicap into the final. Um, so what I'm going to do is take on the puzzle. I don't know much about how the tournament played out, although I do know the winner's time for this puzzle. What I also know is that I find these A puzzles in the final incredibly hard. Um, and I may not solve it in 15 or 20 minutes. And I certainly won't solve it anywhere near the time that the winner did. But what I'll do when I've at least finish my attempt is then look up the details of the final which I haven't looked up because I don't want any spoilers for the puzzle um, and then I will tell you how the, the winner and the other two contestants did because I'm really interested in this and I've sort of put off solving this we're not making the puzzle available to you to play in any software because you can purchase it from the American Crossword Puzzle Tournament and we will provide a link to enable you to do that. You can purchase, I think, all of the, the, the puzzles from the tournament for $20, uh, which is very reasonable, and I recommend that you do it. But this puzzle has been sent to us by the author of the puzzle, Sid Siva Kumar, who is a brilliant constructor. We've come across him before. I think he was the editor of the Brooke Husich puzzle that we did before on the channel. That was maybe two years ago now, actually. Maybe a year ago, anyway. Um, and he's a brilliant constructor. It's probably his first time setting the final puzzle. And he has written to us to recommend that we have a go at it and sent us the puzzle. Now, I've also had to download software that I've never used before to play this puzzle in. 
uh, because the only format in which, well, he sent either a, a PDF, um, which I couldn't enter things in, but I've downloaded a Crosslight, which it will astonish some of you that I've never used it, but I haven't. So I'll actually be learning how to use that as we go. Um, and that could be a bit of a fiasco given my incompetence with technical things. But I have not looked at this puzzle. I can't, uh, with the re resolution on my screen at the moment doesn't even allow me to, to read the clues. Um, so this is going to be my first attempt. We'll see what my time is. I'll basically be aiming to, I'll be delighted if I can finish it in 15 minutes. I'll probably continue beyond that. If I get totally stuck after about 20 well, then we may have to look up the answers and maybe I'll just cut and tell you what they were. But let's see how it goes. Um, and then I'll tell you at the end how the actual finalists got on. Right, enough waffle. There is a timer here as well. So I'm going to start that and say, uh, does it work? Yes, let's get cracking. Right, one across, rolls for some. Oh, by the way, it says at the top, last words by Sid Siva Kumar. If you can finish this puzzle in 20 minutes, then eight down. Oh, so I get 20 minutes, okay. Well, I don't know what that is. Oh, how do I, okay, use the arrow tools. Genotyping tool, no idea. Answer, could be respond? Wouldn't strike me as a very hard clue. Catchy, danceable music, show up, arise, Attend? No, doesn't fit. Five, weapons of ancient warfare. Basically, I'm looking for something that I feel I could start. Like, okay, nine, what are codon codes for? So that's quite specific to, again, genetics, but I don't know the answer. Going way too far, voices. That could be a verb, mouths or something. 12 down, bashes, more likely to be parties than hits. Okay, let's look at the acrosses, nine across, oh, does that, okay, I'm hitting the wrong keys. Nine across, effective, 13, deep learning model. Oh, I can't even read the whole clue here, that's very annoying. What, I can't read the whole clue. What many people in blue states do, sorry. Oh, well, okay, that's not about Republicans and, and Democrats. That's about if you're in a low... Do you mope? Is that the answer? What do you do if you're blue, meaning sad? You, you could weep, which is over sad. I don't know. Oh, still competing. That must be in it, if you're still in it to win it. I think that I'd like, finally, I think I might have got an answer. Right, so we're trying to use the letters, bashes. No idea, voices. I mean, how am I gonna do this in 20 minutes? 10, going way too far, don't know. What are code on codes for? What did I think 15 might be, mope? I mean, it fits quite well with the downs, bashes. Come on, come on, think of, oh, a B, a P, opines. If you voice an opinion, do you opine it? Yeah, maybe you do. Okay, I'm going with mope. And I mean, this is speculative. Effective, good? No, 10 down, going way too far. I don't know. Okay, let's look at these other downs. Country that becomes a major African city. Laos becomes Lagos, if you insert a letter. Good. But that S was never in doubt. They might be belted on stage. Well, kind of numbers. Um, musical numbers might be belted out. And what's this nine down now? What are code on codes for? Amino acid? Yes, I think it, it is something to do with that, isn't it? Okay, effective. As of, effective date. Okay, we've got going. Bashes, fates. 
Right. Not as a group. One on one. I like that. I'm going with that. It might not be right. Sono going way too far. Son of... No. I don't know what can fit in there. Uh, that makes the one-on-one -on -one look dubious. 21 down... Oh, much modern shopping is online. That's got to be right. 17 down. Nothing to get excited about. Meh. That's an adjectival phrase. 14 across. Bite or kick? Tang? Might be. 23 across. They might be belt High notes. Right. Tang. I'm going with tang. Although it could actually be zing. Uh, eight down with an eye. Rejoice. Be happy. Okay, we're going now. Come on. 16 across. Some sort of jam. Oh, jam is the only bit I could have got of that tart spread. Apricot jam would fit, but so would lots of others. Deep learning model. Ending in ET. I don't know what that means. Oh, bother. Rolls for some. Breadcrumb follower. Some a sort of hunter. Apricot jam. Let's just think about that in case I got lucky. Weapons of ancient warfare with a C. Stop gushing in a way. Oh, if you plug a hole or so. Oh, no, I don't know. Anyway, let's go with these other things. Berry, popular since the 19th. Halle Berry. That's the berry there. One collecting dust is a vac across. Down, tapers off for several years. Oh, VHSs? VCRs. Video cassette recorders. They have been off for several years in the sense of out of, I don't know, low key. Tony Collette, I can see that. Okay, VCRs might be wrong, it turns out. Makeshift makeup tool. I see, I barely know what a popsicle is, but I still think this answer could be popsicle stick. 10 down was so not okay, going way too far. That's fabulous. Low key control is a low key on your keyboard. 28 down, part of the holy trinity of Chinese cuisine, along with ginger and garlic. Oh, I don't know cuisine. Proclamation from a ruling party. I think, no. 30 down, a talk show guest might share one story. Feels a bit weird. Told, sang in the sense of blabbed, gave information to the cops. AA Hub. I don't know what that means. I don't know what the AA meaning there is. It's not the battery, I don't think. Could be Alcoholics Anonymous. Vessel at a potluck supper. Casserole dish. Look at that. That just looks like it fits. Oh, this Chinese cooking thing. Part of the Holy Trinity. Ginger, garlic, and how do I not know this then? Sca scallions? That's what I would, that's what an Irish person would call them. Spring onions. Ginger, I mean, they could be. Time to wrap up. Winter? 36. Jets and Sharks venue. Oh, hang on. Ice rink. Are the Jets and Sharks both... See, I don't think it's about West Side Story. What's the across clue here? Anti-penultimate member of a noted series. Ah. Don't know what that is. Vacillators musing all the way in. I don't know what those are. 42 across with relish, perhaps. That's hard. Okay, 35 down, beginning with an R. Cover in a study. Read up on? I don't know. I mean, there's physical covers in studies and there's uh, verbal ones. Genotyping tool. Some sort of map. A genotype. DNA swab or something. Answer. Oh, could be reply to. Two word answer. 
Yeah, I'm going for it, just in case. This online Japanese PM. Online? One time. Must be Ito, who is who has been a Japanese PM. Pitch is hard. Hypes. Yeah, okay. Not baseball, but movies. Keep hidden. Uh, this is a chip coming at one down. DNA chip? Can you have a DNA chip? I don't know. But it's some sort of chip. What's three down? Catchy? Oh, some sort of... I mean, it could be Afro pop or Euro pop or something. Could be any sort of pop. Pop and jam are really annoying suffixes that are the main part of those answers. And that's all I've got. Show up could be a rise. So keeps hidden is closes, closets. Oh, two. it's not keeps hidden, closet. I'm going with a rise, four down, it might be wrong. Five down, oh, weapons of ancient warfare, don't know what that is. Stop gushing, so plug something up. Oh, I don't know, seven down, probably begins with an E. Breadcrumb follower. Could be a word, oh, it is apricot jam, look at that. DNA chip, deep learning model. Oh, how about, oh, you see, now both Afropop and Europop fit. I'm going with Neuropop. Neural net. That is something like a deep learning model. DNA chip. Rolls for some. Dre. Oh, look, I'm 10 minutes in. I can't believe that it's taken this long. I thought, I've had moments where things have gone well. Clot to stop gushing. Dream car. Your role, a Rolls Royce is a dream car, so the ant is a breadcrumb follower. That's probably very straightforward. Proclamation from a ruling party. It's us. I don't know how I'm going to get into this bottom half. Time to wrap up. Cover in a study. 36. Jets and sharks. I do want that to be ice rink. How could 45 have a K? Releases for the public to see. I don't know, major Nestle divestiture, chicharones, I don't know what they are. List, hardly, big name in fashion. <laughs> oh, there's so many. Lacked nothing. Had it all. Yeah, go on, why not had it all? Okay, let's try the downs again. Cover in a study, roll top and a desk. I don't know what that ord is, AA hub. Oh, it's a, it's an American Airlines hub. That is O'Hare Airport or something, isn't it? Anyway, pablum is um, stuff for a baby to eat, isn't it? Or is that pabulum? Slop. I think that's pablum. 43 down, gram equivalent. What's an equivalent of a gram, which is a very specific weight? Time to wrap up. Scallions, come on, I'm putting it in. I don't know what Americans call spring onions. Proclamation from a rule. Rang up, dialed, with only one L. I have to learn American spellings for this. It's the American companies, though, that I can't do. Big name in fashion retail. Oh, I've got this wrong, probably. Aldo? There is, I've seen a shop called Aldo. List can be lean. To lean is to list. Major Nestle divestiture. How, I don't know. Too corporate. Target of conservation since the 1940s. Not chilly. Oh, what's this 42 across? With relish, perhaps. Okay. One wearing very little jewellery. 34 down. Time to wrap up. Well, it's not. Oh, cheddar? That doesn't make any sense. Day, cold day. I mean, I said winter at the beginning. Edie's makes ice cream. That's probably the nested should. Okay, I'm going with A and whale for the target of conservation. With relish, perhaps. Will, willingly. So, glop. Actually, I'm not even going to change the other words in pablum. One wearing very little jewellery. Dolt? No. Dull. Dull. It's lit. Proclamation from a ruling party. 
can ruling just mean great, I suppose? Gram equivalent. What? Oh, Instagram and some other blooming social medium. Hardly. Not. Nan and gram are both words, maybe, for a grandmother. Post fall utterance. Ow? Or dolt? Releases for the public to see. Photo. Could be dolt. Chicharones, oh, I don't know, poor something. Poor boy. Hardly, not at. Oh my goodness, I'm not even going to get into this corner. What about 14 minutes? So I'm near that 15 minutes, but 20 minutes is my, is my limit. Jets and Sharks venue. Who, I mean, the Jets, New York Jets play American football. Sharks. I mean, it better not rely on me knowing West Side Story because I blooming don't. Anti penultimate member. Oh, of a notorious set. So this could be the Greek alphabet. Phi chi, so that's chi. Yeah, okay. Phi chi, psi, omega. That's better. Okay, ice ring. Let's just do it. Vacillator's musing. Should I? I like it. All the way in. We can't have high again, that would be a dupe. Um, RN staffed area, so that's a registered nurse. That makes ice rink look wrong, or should I? One of them looks wrong now. Shred, tear up. Or tear up, that could be clued as, probably was in, in the B or C set. Little squirt. Uh, uh, releases for the public to see. can't be a plural and it can't end in skin, can it? What's this down? All the way in. Uh, so I've done something wrong here, haven't I? Chicharonis. I don't know what chicharonis are. I mean, food is my guess. Crisp interior, maybe. I haven't read this one. Star of Caddyshack and National Lampoon's Vacation. I mean, I don't know. Because I've never, I've actually literally never watched either of those incredibly popular films. Which is pathetic, but there we go. Little squirt. Tyke. Yeah, how about that? Tyke. Hardly. Not my style. Not by a mile. How about that? That might work. I'm guessing a bit. Pork rinds, are they things? I think they probably are. Brr, post fall in winter, okay. Press kit releases for the public to see. My goodness, I might actually be about to finish this in less than 20 minutes. Ramis, he's a director, isn't he? All the way in, hippest. Preop. And pears. Why are pears on the inside of crisps? I don't know. There we go. That is the solution. And I would have entered that because I couldn't see anything that was likely to be wrong enough to have a different alternative. But that's incredibly hard. I mean, I'm delighted, delighted to have done that in less than 20 minutes, I can tell you. Why? I mean, there's things I'm left wondering about. One wearing very little jewellery, perhaps a doll. Like, is that because a, an actual toy doll wouldn't wear jewellery? Or is there some reference there? Oh, very little jewellery. It would be wearing jewellery, but they would be very little pieces. Oh, I'm so slow on things like that. Um, was there anything I didn't really closet to keep hidden? I wouldn't have known. Yeah, closeted. I do know closet's a verb. That's popsicle stick. As I say... I think a popsicle is what we call an ice lolly, but I don't even know that you'd use that to do makeup with. So that's a bit lucky. Uh, casserole dish, the, yeah, ORD is an airport. That's what the AA hub is. I mean, I'm just not used to AA as American Airlines because I'm from the wrong country. Willingly pre Aldo. 
see, I've seen, I've been in a branch of Aldo in Oxford Street, but I would have guessed it wasn't worldwide, <laughs> to be honest, let alone a big name. I clearly don't, I, I neither know Chicharones nor what the, what pork rinds look like. I guess it might be what we call crackling in the UK, but I think I've heard the term from movies and things. DNA chip, I'm looking at the downs now. I wouldn't really know that. Reply to Europe, oh, okay. Scallions, you see, I, in England we call them spring onions. In Ireland they call them scallions. The idea that they're called scallions in America as part of a Chinese name is a surprise to me. It's lit is not a phrase I'm used to. I don't really understand what ruling party there means. I guess somebody goes into a party and just goes, oh, wow, it's lit. It rules. Is that what I'm meant to be thinking there? Hard. Pears as crisp interior. What sort of crisp has pears on the inside? I don't, I don't understand that. Ramis, I think, is it Howard Ramis? Harold Ramis? I don't even know. So not okay. That's tough. I mean, it's brilliantly put together, the puzzle. Um, it's just fascinating. If you buy the set and you have, or if you've already bought it and you've tried the B and C clues, let me know how much easier they are. Anyway, now I will be back in a second or two, having now finally researched the final to find out what happened. I know that the winner was Paolo Pasco who solved this puzzle in 5 minutes 42 seconds, which blows my mind. It's just mad. Even in, in the bits where I was going fast, briefly, I wouldn't have got this done in 5 minutes and 42 seconds. And the bits where I was stuck and trying to break into whole areas of white, it's incredible to me. But I bet that the second and third place barely took much longer because that's the way it works. I will tell you in a moment. Yes, yeah, so hats off to Paolo Pasco, who finished, as I said, in five minutes, 42 seconds. Just incredible. Um, the other two finalists, you'll be shocked to hear, um, they had handicaps of about two seconds for Will Nediger and 10 seconds for David Plotkin. And they finished almost exactly at the same time. I think David pipped Will by about a second, a minute after Paolo. So it's still just phenomenal solving. Each one of those three guys solved this puzzle in less than seven minutes. And uh, as you've just seen, that is clearly less than half my time. Phenomenal achievements. Um, and Paolo was actually a first-time winner, which I hadn't been sure about, only because the previous year he lost the final by 1.4 seconds. Ow. I mean, that's got to hurt. Um, but just fascinating. Very well done to anybody who got to, to have a go at this final puzzle, but especially those guys, and indeed anyone who was at the tournament. Um, I'd love to have been there, but it's just a bit too far away to go every year. <laughs> And uh, thank you very much for watching this special video. Thank you so much to Sid Siva Kumar for a brilliant puzzle. Um, I mean, look at the way those words fit together. I was intrigued to see from the expert solvers that in a fairly similar way, they kind of did the middle section of the puzzle first, then the top section, and then had to break into the bottom where it was harder. So, uh, in fact, even Paolo... I think within the first minute he was solving, and remember he only took five minutes, 42 seconds. Within the first minute, he only had about two answers in the grid. So it wasn't, it wasn't easy to get going for him at all. And it's a measure of how brilliant Sid's puzzle was. Uh, thank you, Sid, for writing to us. Thank you for watching. We'll see you again for more normal videos at some point. Brilliant stuff. See you then. Bye for now.